Hello guys, this is Amel with one more tutorial for you uh, so you can actually learn MIPS. Last time I was teaching you how to do uh, floats, how to get floats from the user. So this time it's going to be even better because I'm going to show you how to get users input as doubles. So uh, just go to file and new and save the new file to the desktop and give it a name. So the name I'm going to give it is reading doubles that ASM so save it and now we're ready to begin so we have two sections that data that text as usual and um, I want to have a message so uh, it's gonna be a prompt so I'm gonna give it a name prompt this is a label right here and then the data type is gonna be that as z because it's gonna be text so I'm gonna say enter the value of E and for those of you who don't know what E is, E is just a, a special number in mathematics. Uh, it's in honor of Euler. So if you don't know about it, just look it up. Uh, it's approximately 2.71. So now I'm just wanna I just wanna display this to the user. Display a message to the user. So I say load immediate dollar sign v0 comma four because uh, this is the code to display text and what do I want to display well it's this prompt so I have to load it to the argument so load address the sign is zero comma prompt and finally I do syscall and this is gonna display the value to the user I mean not the value but the message and now I have to uh, get the double from the user because it's gonna be a double so the code to get a double is just the following loading media dollar sign v0 comma seven so this is gonna get a double and then we say Cisco okay but where's the double uh, from the user well it's gonna be stored in in f0 why because remember floats and doubles they need special registers they need the they are in coprocessor one so um doubles take up two registers because they are 64 bits uh 64 bits long so uh for instance it's going to be stored in f0 and f1 so now that i have the double from the user i just want to display the user's input so to do that I just do uh, the code to display doubles loading media dollar sign v0 comma 3 and now the argument or what I want to display has to be stored in dollar sign f12 so for that I'm just gonna say add that D for add double so add that D and then uh, dollar sign f12 it's gonna have the argument and dollar sign f0 is the number that I want to display and finally I just need um, zero but look at this all the doubles right here um, like they have the default value of zero so I can just use any any empty any empty register that I haven't used so I can say for example uh, dollar sign F uh, 10 and then I can say Cisco and this right here is going to display the double and um, you know that we have to store the argument in F12 but the argument is in F0 so we have to add it and we just we just add 0, 0, 0 0.0 to it and if you see it right here F10 the, the, the value for a double in F10 is 0, 0.0 by default so this is going to add 0 to to 2.71 and it's going to store it in F12 and then the system is going to know that it has to print it out so finally I say okay system you know what to do then do it and if I save and then run and then I assemble and I execute right here you see enter the value of E so the value of E is 2.71 approximately and I press enter voila 2.71 and I'm good to go so now you know uh, this is the code to print text. This is the code to um, get a double from the user. The double is going to be stored in F0. So if I want to print the double, 
uh, to the screen, I have to use this code loading media dollar sign v0 comma three, but I have to move it from f0 to the argument. And finally, I just do a Cisco as usual. So congratulations, guys. Oh, what did, what did I do? Um, congratulations, guys. Now now you know how to uh, get double from the user and how to print doubles. I mean, uh, to the screen. So thank you very much, and see you uh, see you next time. Okay.